Welcome class, we're going to focus a little bit on factor pairs of a number and how you can identify them. Let's take a moment and we look at our word factors real quick. We have So factors of a number is what we're going to be looking for. We're going to look at the number 12 as a basis to start off. And if we remember when we did arrays, and if you don't know what an array is, an array is made up of columns and rows that have the same number in each. So if we create um, a factor, or we create an array for 12, we can have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we're going to have six columns, and we're going to have two rows. When we create this array, this is a 2 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is called a 2 by 6 array. If we look closely at this, this 2 by 6 array is actually a factor pair, 2 by 6. So you can look at 2 times 6, which is equal to 12, is a factor pair. So a factor is any number that can be multiplied with another number to equal a product. The product in this case being 12. Remember, a product is the answer to a multiplication problem. So we're looking for numbers that can be multiplied to equal a product. So let's go on and let's look here at 12. And there's something we can use called the factor rainbow. You know, a rainbow looks sort of like this with all its little multicolors. But a factor rainbow allows us to break down a number like 12 and find all of its factors or factor pairs. And there's one factor that you can always be sure exists. And this is the factor pair of 1 and the number itself. In this case, it's 12. So we have the factor pair of 1 and 12. 1 times 12, 1 times 12 equals 12. So we're going to take this and we're going to create our outer rainbow. This is the outside of the rainbow. Always 1 times the number itself is the outside of the rainbow. And then we're going to create the inside. So the next thing we're going to do is say, look at number 2. We're just going to go up here. 2 times 1 equals 12. Well, we know when we were on the previous page that 2 times 6 equals 12. So that's the next part. So we found 1 times 12, and now we have 2 times 6 equals 12. We're going to continue on now, and we're going to see if 3 works. And we know 3 times something equals 12. And if we're not sure, we can create an array real quick. We're going to create an array with 3 rows, and then we're going to see if we can get to 12. So we're at 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there we go. 3 rows, 1, 2, 3, 4 columns. So 3 times 4 equals 12. And now we are done with our factor rainbow. And there's actually an easy way that you can identify when you are complete. Is there any whole number between 3 and 4? The answer is no. So you know that you have completed your factor rainbow. And we have found all of our factor pairs. So the factor pairs... of 12 are 1 times 12, 2 times 6, and 3 times 4. Those are all the factor pairs, which means all the factors are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12. Now let's look at one more number just to be sure, and we're going to look at the number 11. Now let's create our first one. We always know that we can work with 1 times 11 because 1 times the number itself is always going to be a factor, pa a factor pair. 1 times 11 does equal 11. And then we can try 2. Can we figure out anything with 2? Well, if we're not sure, we check our arrays. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That does not work. 
So we want to get rid of that because we know it does not work. So we can't do two. Can we do three? One, two, three, three rows, six, nine, 11. Once again, it does not work. So three does not work. And we can continue this on, but the idea here is to get that one times 11, one 11 is the only factor pair for 11. Only factor pair. The question you have to ask yourself, ask yourself is why? If you remember in math, we have certain numbers that are called prime numbers. And prime numbers only have one factor pair. And that factor pair is always going to be one and itself. And if we remember that, you'll always be able to find the factor pairs of any prime number. It's always one in itself. That does it for factor pairs today. Hope to see you in class or working on this. And I hope this little video helped you with it. See more from me later. Out.